Buff, it looks like it's up to you. Welcome to Trick Science. Have you ever wondered how a guy could pass for a woman so he could then possibly break into a mafia club and save his bestie from the clutches of a deranged pimp? Well, you're in luck, because today we're going to be looking at human motivation, beauty, and really how we're often biologically biased towards seeing only what we wish for and desire, leading towards some dramatic differences in our perceptions of the world and the people in it. In Final Fantasy VII, Cloud has to somehow pass for an alluring woman so he can then break into Don Corneo's mafia base and thus break Tifa out. Well, Cloud successfully pulls this off, fooling both Don Corneo and his many merry men in the process. But how is it possible for all these guys to be so thoroughly fooled that Cloud is even picked to be the Don's personal pretty girl when he's standing right next to freaking Tifa and Aerith? Well, for one thing, this can be largely due to our own motivated perception or perception bias, which states that our desires and goals have a pretty much undisputable influence on how we see the world, causing our personal viewpoints to be biased, selective, and malleable. We see what we want to see. In a study conducted at Stanford, participants while under an fMRI scanner that shows brain activity were asked to label various images as having more scenery or more of a person's face in it, winning money for each correct guess. Later, they were told they would receive extra money if they guessed an image correctly that had more of a person's face present. From then on, participants were observed to guess face far more often on the chance of winning that extra cash. The researchers even found that the ventral visual areas of the brain, which encodes what we are looking at, had more neurons firing that recognize faces rather than neurons that recognize scenery. This was further reinforced by corresponding activity in the nucleus accumbens, part of the brain's reward center, that continually rewarded and pushed participants to guess face more often with each correct answer. Now, looking at Don Corneo's obvious misinterpretation of Cloud being a woman, it makes sense given that the Don is continuing to guess that only women have shown up as they always have, while both he and his gleeful goons are literally blinded or perceptually biased by their burning desire to... Ahem. Sexually conquer Cloud Strife. Given how strong sexual desire can be out of all desires, the guy's wish-fueled brains are literally telling them, no screaming at them, that these are in fact three women in front of them, all whom they've never seen before. Cloud is also lacking or just not showing definitively male characteristics, such as a beard. That's pretty much it. Guess the Don missed that Adam's apple. But he does have a dress, earrings, lipstick, those feminine eyes that you could just melt into, and dance moves of a pop goddess that all serve to help fool this eager mafia boss's belief into thinking he's gonna get what he wants most. As for why Cloud was picked instead of Aerith and Tifa, well, this is most likely due to Don Corneo's personal choice in beauty. Yes, beauty or attractiveness, which in itself can't be solely scientifically measured and has been a topic of heavy debate and study between ancient philosophers like Plato, Plotinus, and Aristotle to John Locke, David Hume, and Immanuel Kant in that beauty is paradoxically both subjective up to the individual person and objective, fact that is separate from what people think, such as certain colors, art, the sunrise. Thus, attractiveness has been thought by some to be intersubjective, and in that it's both up to the individual person, but can also exist as a shared viewpoint between many people and cultures. In this case, Don Corneo is personally pulled towards Cloud and sees him as the one, due to his strong demeanor and hard to get attitude. Anyways, that's just some lovely science. Trick science! See you learners on the flip side!